Wire annotation. What do I mean by wire annotation? What I mean is people want the ability to display wiring information from a graphical standpoint. Here in this panel drawing, I've got all these footprint symbols. And they're just a mechanical representation. It's not displaying any of the wiring information from the schematic drawings, as you can see. And there's a couple different ways you can go about displaying the wiring information. One is real generic. The other is a little bit more custom. So as an example, if I go to the panel wire here, I'm going to go to my panel tab and I'm going to go to the wire annotation. And I'll do the whole project. You know, over here on the right, it's kind of like how you want information displayed in your terminal layouts. Do you want the wire number only? Do you want to include the layer in parentheses, the tag in parentheses, so on and so forth. So I'm just going to leave it on the default here, pick OK. I thought I did it for the active drawing. Active drawing. So all the wiring detail shows up. This is the generic mode. This just ends up being M text. And the difficult part about this is that you can see, you know, it, it would take a lot of work to rearrange all of these components so you could see the actual wiring information along with the graphical representation. The same thing would happen to this drawing if I were to run that command. Well, you can get a lot more detail. Essentially, you can create a separate footprint symbol just to show the wiring detail. So I've got these breakers up here. And it's telling me every terminal that I'm using on the breaker, the wire that's connected to it, or wires, and I also had the tag in the terminal number mixed in there as well. And then the same thing with these relays down here. So this is the detailed wiring information that I can get out of the schematic drawings. So if I go back to, just as an example, <coughs> I'm going to copy this component. Uh, let me change my snap settings. And let me just copy it down to here. And I'll change description line one to wired, wires connected. CB332 location codes in there. So you can see it has wire number 332 going to terminal number 6, wire number 309 going to terminal 5. And it's coming from this breaker down to here. And it's going to somewhere else. Now I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to insert a new relay. And I'm just going to call it Master Control. And I'll give it a location code again just to fill something in. And then I'll insert a contact. Nothing earth shattering going on here. Parent sibling. Oh, hold on a minute. Uh, 
I'm going to show you another tip trick here in just a minute. As far as inserting symbols from your catalog browser. But I'm just going to insert this. Alan Bradley. And again, I'll go with master control relay. Pick OK at the bottom and then insert a child symbol. And it picks up the first set of contact terminal numbers as well. Now I'll go back to the standard panel drawing. And then I'll insert my new breaker and my new relay from the schematic list. I'll just make sure I'm set to tag name there. I'll mark the existing, hide the existing. Here's my new relay. And I'll just insert this one up here. Pick OK. And then I'll insert my new relay. And now if I want to display the wiring information on there, I'm just going to go to my regular icon menu to insert the symbol. I have it in the same folder. And it is a footprint. I'm going to drop it down again. Right about here for now. Then I'm going to go to the schematic list. And I'm going to grab the tag. And it asked me to overwrite. And then I'll pick OK here. It will give me some alerts. The panel layout symbol, the same tag already exists. Yeah, I still want to continue and leave it as is. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the relay. And I'll just drop this one down here next to the rest of them. Go back to my schematic list. Pick my relay. Overwrite. Continue. Leave as is. And what you're doing is there's basically two footprint symbols. You could only... you know f pump out a drawing like this to be able to build the panel but then freeze a bunch of layers and just display the wiring information that way you could use the same footprint symbol i chose to you know create a separate one but the main point is i go back to my wiring annotation i'll do the active drawing And now, as you can see, all the wiring information fills in accordingly for both of these. And essentially, if you don't have attributes in the symbol and you run the annotation, it'll look like this. When you create a separate symbol, and that's what I'm going to do right now, once again, it's all about the attributes.
and you're going to see a pattern here. So it's a footprint symbol, but you still add connection points like term 01. There's the K1 down here. The wire number, that's what shows up for the wire itself. You could also, this is the, the actual connection point attribute, same as when you create a regular schematic symbol, and then you could tie in a description off of it. And again, if I explode this, you know, it's all about the attributes. When you've, if you've created schematic symbols, you're going to know that this is a connection point attribute. This is the terminal description or pin number for that attribute. And then I've got the wire number attribute. And it's sitting right on top of the description, but I'm not using the description. But you can create these footprint symbols any way you want. You just have to include the attributes to get that wiring detail information.